Hi, Rockets. One of my favorite things to do is cuddle up on my couch or in my bed with a good book. And so today, that's exactly what I'm doing for our story. I'm here on my couch, cuddled up in my blanket. I've got Nala here with me. She's going to enjoy the story, and I hope you will too. Today, we're going to read a book about buildings. We're still talking about buildings with our read-alouds, studying buildings in our neighborhood. And this is a story about building a house. We've talked a lot about the different types of buildings around our neighborhood, but we haven't spent very much time talking about how they're built. So today we're going to read this book, Building a House by Byron Barton. And this book's going to show us the steps to building a house. At the end of our reading, we'll try to put the steps back in order. All right, let's get started. Building a House by Byron Barton. On a green hill, a machine digs a big hole. Builders hammer and saw. A cement mixer pours cement. Bricklayers lay large white blocks. Carpenters come and make a wooden floor. They put up walls. They build a roof. A bricklayer builds a fireplace and a chimney too. A plumber puts in pipes for water. An electrician wires for electric light. Carpenters put in windows and doors. Painters paint inside and out. The workers leave. The house is built. Let's go through our story one more time to try to remember the steps of building a house, and then we'll try to put some of those steps back in order. All right, so at the beginning of the book, there was just a big piece of land. Machines came to dig a hole, and that's when the workers started on the building. They started on the building at the bottom. poured cement and started laying white blocks for the foundations. They're still working on the bottom of the house. They finish off the bottom by adding a floor. Do you remember what comes next? They're building up the walls, the roof, and the chimney. Then plumbers put in pipes, electricians put in lights, and carpenters put in windows and doors. They add all the finishing touches. The last finishing touch is for everything to get painted. The workers pack up and the house is built. All right, then at the very end, 
a family can move inside. All right, so they started building at the bottom of the structure and worked their way up. That's something really important to remember as we try to put these steps back in order. Let's give it a try. Here we have six steps of building a house, but they're out of order. Right now they're listed as paint the house, build the floor, build the roof, a family moves in, build the walls, and dig a hole. We need to put these in the right order, from beginning to end. Which of these steps came first? Was it painting the house, building the floor, building the roof, the family moving in, building the walls, or digging a hole? What was the very first thing that happened? That's right, it was building a hole for the foundation. What came next? Once the hole was built, the builders could start building the foundation of the house. The floor is part of the foundation. That came next. What came after building the floors? That's right. After the, after the builders had finished the floor, they started building up by building the walls. What came after building the walls? Was it building the roof, painting the house, or having the family move in? After the walls came the roof. Now that the roof is done, what comes next? Painting or the family moving in? That's right, it was painting. What's the very last step to building a house? It was at the very end of our book. You got it. Once the builders were done with the house, the family was ready to move in. We've put our story back in order from beginning to the middle, all the way to the end. Now we know, without even having to look at our book, that the steps of building a house are dig a hole for the foundation, lay the floor, build the walls, build a roof on top, paint the house, and the family moves in. All right, Rockets, that was our story for today, Building a House by Byron Barton. We read the story, we remembered the steps, and then we worked to put them back in order. I hope you enjoyed this book. I think Nala did. I think she's just about ready for nap time. Sometimes that happens after we read books. All right, Rockets, I will see you for our next story. Bye.